Oh boy, we at Burger King. We're about to order something crazy. Yes, can I order the Impossible Burger? The Impossible Whopper? Yes, the Impossible Whopper. I said it wrong. Okay. Anything else? Uh, no. No mayonnaise. Okay. Oh, you and don't put no ketchup. I'll, I'll just give me your ketchup packet. Okay. Everything else you could put on it. All right. Six on four. All right. You came back because oh, didn't you? Huh? You came back to get a new one, didn't you? Yeah. Had to get had to get that burger. Had to get the burger. So if I want a uh, vegan, I have to say vegan, and y'all put it in the microwave because the beef is already on the grill. So y'all put it in the microwave instead. All right, all right, all right. Sorry, the guy didn't want me to get his face, so I had to make sure that I didn't get his face. Oh my god. So, if you if you are vegan or vegetarian, you got to make sure that you say I'm um, um I want the impossible burger vegan or vegetarian. That way they will not put it on the um on the grill. They will not put it on the grill where cuz you know if you're vegan or whatever you you don't like to have um you don't like like to have beef. So none of the beef juice will go on it. Pause. <laughs> and they put it in the microwave for you and they hold the mail. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So let's see how this drink tastes. Let me park up and take a bite. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, guys. You know what? Let's compare the patties. So we got the Impossible Burger and the Possible Whopper. I keep saying it wrong. And the Whopper, regular Whopper. Let's see how these actually look together. Turn the light on so you have to see. Five second rule. <laughs> Just do it like that. That's better. So, off back with the buns on, really can't tell a difference. Well, if you could see, like this one actually has more of a a squared edge. This one has more. The regular on Whopper has more of a round edge. So. Let's turn the burger around so we can look at the actual patty. Okay. Okay. So, as you can see, remember I was saying it has like a little flat edge. You can see that's the actual patty. Flame grill on one side. Flame broiled on one side signature mark of Burger King. And this is... Excuse me. This one got mayonnaise. This is the regular Whopper patty. So off back, you could tell the difference. One is actually way bigger than the other. Regular Whopper, Impossible Whopper. Um, the edges, 
this look more manufactured. This look like, oh, 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 oh. Take that brown beef, slam it on the grill. <laughs> but it's not too much of a difference. You know, the coloration is a little different, but other than that, like, it's pretty cool. Let's see what they come with. So, um... I eat, I eat the mayonnaise and stuff like that. I told him not to put no mayonnaise and stuff on this one. But, um... Hey, you want to know what the weird thing is? They actually made this a lot better than this one. <laughs> this one looks nice and neat. And together, this one kind of... Eh. Now, this is the regular Whopper one. This is the Impossible Whopper one. But... They don't look too different. I'm with it. Let's see how this Impossible Whopper actually tastes. It actually looked a lot like meat, though. Should I taste it and then eat the burger? Like, should I taste the patty by itself and then take a whole bite of the burger? Or should I just... Just do it all together. You know what? I'm going to taste it. It definitely has an aftertaste. But it has a consistency of meat, though. Which is very weird. Okay. Okay. It doesn't really have an aftertaste. It doesn't taste just like beef. It's not beef, so obviously not gonna taste just like beef. But it's not nasty. But it does have a weird aftertaste. It has tomatoes, onions, pickles, lettuce. You know, all the things you expect on a burger. Here's a real taste test. The whole thing together. So far, I am, I am not like, how do you say? I'm not dissatisfied with the burger. Cause you know, in your head, you already think it doesn't have beef. So therefore it's not going to taste just like beef. It has a consistency of beef though. Very much so. Look, even if I take off this piece, look how it breaks off. It's just that aftertaste. It has a weird aftertaste to it. All right. So let's eat this drink. I, let's just eat it. The weird thing is, is that when you eat the patty by itself, it has an aftertaste. But when you eat everything together, it actually works. It, it's, it's good. It's a freaking, it's actually good. Take another bite of this. Mmm. Would I get this again? I'm not sure. Maybe if they threw it on the two for six, I would. But I gotta admit, this is not another BK Taco fiasco. Fiasco. It's actually pretty good. Like, um, I'm actually enjoying it. Like. Good job, BK. Good job. Mm. I'm actually finding myself liking it a little more. Wow.
Oh, okay. From a one to five star, I gotta say, I give it a four and a half. Four and a half stars. Good job, BK.